Hey guys, this is the seasoning that I use for my beef neck bones. I have some vegetable blend here called Epi's. I used oregano also. Uh, I have a seasoning blend that I mix myself and uh, garlic powder. Okay, this is the meat. I already had it seasoned and had put my vegetable blend on there. It's been marinating for about an hour and a half now. My onions, thyme, and garlic here. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and sear the beef. My oil is hot already, so I'm gonna lay them in and have those start searing. I'm gonna try to get, I have quite a few uh, little bones here, but um, I'm gonna try to get them all in this pot here, uh, one by one, ensuring that uh, the grease hits them all because we wanna have it uh, browned on both sides before uh, we flip them over. Uh, right now, it is, uh, looks like it's gonna fit. Okay, um, I'm now beginning to flip them over to the other side, but oh my God, the that that spice mix. What I tell you guys, what I told you guys about the epis, the liquid one, it has all of the onions, bell peppers, garlic, all of that stuff already in here. So it smells amazing in here. But I'm gonna just go ahead and flip everything on the other side before we add our liquids. Remember the bowl that I showed you guys that I had the meat marinating in? Okay, all of that good seasoning and all that stuff, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna add water to it. And I'm gonna pour that over uh, into the beef bones. Um, the garlic, I usually try to fry that down a little bit uh, beforehand, but I forgot to do so. So I'm gonna, I've already added the water, as you can see. Now I'm gonna put my uh, spices inside, which are gonna consist of the garlic that I spoke about a moment ago, uh, as well as the thyme and the onions. I'm gonna go ahead and drop those in now. It's the thyme, just spread it out evenly. Um, rake my little onion, my garlic in there, and then I'm gonna pour the onions over the top and uh, I'll be back in about 45 minutes because I'm sure I'm go it's going to need more water. I didn't do it in a deep uh, pot. I did it in this pan, so I'm going to come back in about 45 minutes and show you what it's looking like. Okay, it was about 48 minutes later, but... Um, I went ahead and added water. It's come to a boil now. Uh, so that's how we are looking. In about a half hour, we're gonna come back and check the tenderness before we thicken the gravy. Okay, now what we're gonna do is thicken the gravy. Uh, I have two heaping teaspoon, tablespoonfuls of flour. I'm adding my water to it. I'm gonna stir it kind of get the lumps out. It may lump in the pot, but um, that they'll boil their way out. It won't be lumpy when you're finished. Okay, the flour water mixture is ready. I'm gonna pour that over the meat uh, and we're just gonna let it simmer. Uh, stir it in a little bit and we're gonna let it simmer. I'm just kind of moving my meat around here. And I'm gonna add, actually I think I need a little water with this. I added a little bit of more water to it, but um, I'm gonna add some parsley, a little more onions, 
and uh, I'm gonna I usually use the red bell pepper but I had the yellow bell pepper so we're gonna use that and I'm gonna let that just simmer let me put the onions in and uh, we'll let that simmer down a little bit more but they're done they're nice and tender they're kind of separating from the bone just a little bit but um, they're nice and tender another 15 minutes and I have the stove on low okay this is the finished product um, just a note before I thicken the gravy I added water about twice um, they cooked, I would say, a total of about two hours, two hours and ten minutes uh, because they weren't tender enough. So this is the finished product. I'm going to go ahead and plate her up. I did cook some beans also. I'll let you guys see that. Okay, that's the finished product there. Uh, go ahead and feed the mister. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Thanks for watching.